didn't upload a video yesterday because I was doing a bit more um, adjustment on the brakes. Just said so I jack it up and try and feel what's going on now that I have the wheels on. So things are a little bit different when the tractor's rolling, but as we've seen, we're getting good brakes. So I was doing a bit of touching up a paint um, here and there, brake rods and stuff like that. This brake rod in here in the back wasn't painted, so I have that painted and um, touched up a few little bits here and there. And um, today's job is going to be to flare this lad here because he's too long and that's uh, for fitting the new bonnet latch that I have um, on the way. She'll be here tomorrow. Um, so that's what I'm going to do there. I might touch up that red there as well on the coach bolt and uh, there as well. And anywhere else, small little, I think there's a little scratch here and there. We'll give them a touch up and give the tractor a good looking over. Um, I do have to paint the track rod ends properly. Um, as I didn't paint them earlier on because I had to do a bit of adjustment that involved putting them in the vise and all of that. So it's always good just to leave them to the end. So I have them on loose. So I'll be able to take them off, give them another quick spray. And uh, yeah, so let's get going on getting this uh, flared a little bit. I also got this mirror fitted as well. So it's handy when you're sitting up on the tractor to be able to see behind you and not be turning over your shoulder the whole time. So that was a nice little addition. What I use to flare these is a coach bolt and I just file the square shape on it there into a bit of a V, kind of a wedge shape. And when I tighten that in, it starts um, flaring that over a bit there. So I obviously had to do a little bit of work on this one here as well because the cert lip um, wasn't going into the slot. So that's the plan at this side as well, just to stop them from falling off in the future. The way of flare is obviously the way that doesn't involve using hammers or anything like that. You just keep turning the square edge a little bit more and tightening. And then when you, when you have it done, then you just get your plastic hammer, tap it back out, turn it a bit more, tighten it up and you'll feel a flare, flare in it. Touch ups and I fitted on these stickers as well for the draft and for the position control there. So I'm happy with that. Touched up a few of the little marks on the paint there and stuff, so. Right, next job, what is it going to be? This is just another tidy up job, right? So uh, there's this bracket there, a nice original bracket. Here's a bit of chain, it's too long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this onto the end of it and it's going to sit in there. And that's the way it would have been from factory. It's just handy having it on a chain that you, you don't lose it as well. And again, because they had them on from factory, it's an original bracket there that I pulled out of my parts and uh, I'll be able to attach that. So I'm going to work out roughly how much chain we need. Even that much is probably enough so I can go ahead and uh, put it. It doesn't need to be very long obviously because it's right beside it but at the same time we don't want, want to be able to pull it out enough and not have it getting caught. On the chain. I don't know how hard this is going to be to cut. I might get my snips at that actually. And after opening this up, putting the chain in around it, and now I can uh, now it can be fit fitted. So it's just one of them things, little small detail, but uh, just the way it should be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit one on here as well, so you can see that there's a hole there. So I'll put another one of them on a chain there as well. There's a bit of chain, there's the clip. So what I do is get a good grip on them, pull them out, just not completely off the square part. Could go flying. Oh, fair strength in them now, so there is. Ow. And then one of the hammer should get it back in. Two taps, and then two taps of the hammer should get it back in. Gripped it too much. That's why I can't move it. There we go. That's that there. Ready to go. So we get our industrial silver stainless bolt put a washer on there and 
and uh, put it through the chain. I like to have this one a bit longer as well. So let's get that fitted. Right. So this will mean that this can be kept on the tractor instead of on the top link when it's not being used. And uh, it'll just mean that it won't, it won't be going uh, walk about when you're looking for it. This bolt might be a little bit short. We'll find out very quickly now. I have longer ones there if I need anyway, but if I want it to be as neat as possible. Yeah, anything too short, as luck would have it, that's no bother. I'll get a longer one and we'll come back and do that again. Okay, take two. That's definitely long enough now. Right. So, on with our the washer here as well. Bit of an angle, a little bit off, but we'll get it. Now we're tightening up there, lovely. Just trying to keep that facing the way we want it to. Okay. That'll be that. I'll go and get the pin and come back. So here is our nice toppling pin. So that can come through. Can't come through that way. So maybe, <laughs> I didn't realise that, we'll have to swap. We'll have to swap um, sides maybe. Yeah, I think we'll swap sides, yeah. That's no problem at all. These are the things that we run into along the way. That bracket over there for the hydraulic pipes is just stopping it going in that way, so. We'll have a hole this side as well. On with the, an angle there. I'm gonna get my snouty nose pliers to help me hold that nut in place. And we're lined up, ready to screw them home now. Just a bit tight in there to get your finger in to hold that nut. Okay, nearly there. Okay, it's not going to affect anything there at all. Okay. So it's just look, it's just one of them things. It just they came with them from factory, so we may as well have them on it. And it only takes a bit of a, a length of chain, and there's plenty of length in this as well, so you're not going to be stuck for space. So that's it, and this one here. There's no pain like one of these closing on your fingers. Little bit shorter and all of that, but it's uh, still it's doing the same thing. Looks right, looks neat. It's just you have if you don't have that bracket on, you have a long stud there. It's a lot sticking out a lot more than these, so just makes it correct. And a gallon of hydraulic oil there just to to drain into it there, just to top it up a bit more. And we'll check the levels there now in a few minutes and see what they're looking like. Coming up here on the level nicely. It was fairly low before, so. Let that just, it'll take a few minutes. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to start giving the wheels, the back wheels, especially where the axle seals were leaking, um, covered in oil. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start pouring that in there and uh, it's just WD-40 and give it a, a good rub and a good clean. It'll help um, protect the paint as well. This is just one of the things I do just to help protect paint because out here it can get very damp. So I use a slightly oily rag. Use this rag for this job and this job only. And it just, 
I find the slight bit of oil that's on it and the WD-40, you get great results. So I'll get a torch and show you some of the oil that's on the wheel. This side was, was leaking fairly badly. That's actually a bit of the, the oil that was leaking out of it. And uh, the wheel you can see is uh, it's fairly, still fairly oily. So I'm going to give that a good spraying down with WD-40 and um, I'm going to get that, uh, get it cleaned up. I want to paint the end of a half shaft that I got, where it goes in around the wheel. I have to clean that down and it was red, and we have to make it grey. So I'm just going to mix up this paint, and that will be another job done. And I'll take another look while I have the cover off, cap off the paint in, to uh, see if there's any more grey that needs fixing up. Apart from the track rods, I'm going to spray paint them. So that's good. So we'll get that painted now. I'll clean this back and there's plenty of rust primer on it, so there's no need to be putting any more on, I don't think. Coming towards the end of the project now. The test drive went well the other day, and I've just been making sure that everything that's meant to be holding oil and all that is. And it does seem to be, so that's good. And this was colour match paint that I got matched in a local paint supply space. I got them to match it to a front wheel and to the grill and, well, to go with the nearest colour. Thankfully it does dry a bit darker than it is now. But when it goes on first it always looks brighter. I'll be able to give the rest of the tin the tractor and the coated on that so any more paint needed it won't be a problem the coat will be on it. So that'll just have that looking right. Now I see some of these are, the paint there is a little bit damaged from looks like impact ones or something. I'll just see if there's a touch up. I'll use a smaller Detail brush and just touch that up as well. I'm going to take this bolt off. This washer here is actually for a, it's around the belt pulley of the crankshaft for a starting handle dog nut, it's called. So I'm going to put a proper um, washer on there and I'm going to take this off and cut it to, to length, get it looking a bit tidier. A nice stainless steel washer put on that side, cut to length, and a nice uh, spring washer there and uh, just the right amount of thread sticking out. And that's probably the best way to go about sorting him out. I know that I actually show some little clip of these um, decals fitted. They're a nice little touch. So we are kind of getting towards the finishing touch today. I'm waiting on three more parts to come tomorrow and I was told they're in the post today so they'll be here and I'll be able to get back to doing uh, the final few bits and pieces on this before I do the tracking on the other side and uh, then do the final adjustment to the front wheels, the quarter inch toe in. So um, after that, I hope to bring it on a test drive to make a final tweak or two to the brakes, make sure the steering is A1 because I didn't have those track rod ends on very tight because I didn't want to go bait things with a hammer to take them off. So that's what lies in store along with a few more little tidy up jobs here and there give it a good looking over make sure that any of the seals i put in are all sealing i can't see why they wouldn't and um might just put a bit of uh, polish on the, the bonnet there just to the paint is a little bit little bit faded here and there so i'll give it a degrease and a polish just to bring bring out the best of it